Have you ever felt like anxiety was holding you back from reaching your full potential? Like there was this invisible force constantly whispering doubts and fears into your ear, convincing you that you're not good enough to achieve your dreams. Well, my friend, I've been there. The sleepless nights, the racing thoughts, the overwhelming sense of dread. It's enough to make anyone want to just give up and stay stuck in that endless cycle of worry and self-doubt. But what if I told you that you have the power to break free from anxiety's grip and unlock a life of success and fulfillment beyond your wildest dreams? No, I'm not selling some magic pill or quick fix solution. This is about real, proven strategies that have helped countless people, including myself, conquer their anxiety and achieve their biggest goals. We're talking game-changing techniques like identifying and challenging those pesky anxious thoughts, practical methods for managing stress in the moment, and even powerful mindset shifts that will have you believing in yourself like never before. And the best part? These aren't just empty promises. I'm going to share real life examples and personal stories of how I use these very strategies to overcome my own crippling anxiety and turn my dreams into reality. So if you're ready to finally break free from the chains of anxiety and start living the successful, fulfilling life you deserve, then keep watching. Because by the end of this video, you'll have all the tools you need to become the boss of your fears and achieve anything you set your mind to. The path to a life without limits starts now. Are you ready to take the first step? Chapter 1. Identifying and Challenging Anxious Thoughts Imagine this. You're standing in front of a room full of people about to give the presentation of your life. Your palms are sweating, your heart is racing, and that little voice in your head is screaming, you're gonna mess this up and everyone will think you're a complete failure. Sound familiar? We've all been there, my friend. That crippling anxiety, that overwhelming fear of failure or embarrassment can feel like a heavy weight holding us back from reaching our full potential. But here's the thing. Anxiety is nothing more than a bully in our minds, and it's time we stood up to that bully and showed it who's boss. Let me share a personal story that might hit close to home. Back in high school, I was that shy, anxious kid who would do anything to avoid public speaking. One fateful day, I was forced to give a presentation, and let's just say it didn't go well. The laughter, the mocking, the sheer humiliation, it was enough to make my anxiety skyrocket and cement my fear of public speaking for years to come. But you know what? I refuse to let that experience define me. I refuse to let anxiety hold me back from achieving my dreams and reaching my goals. And that's when I discovered the power of challenging those anxious thoughts and facing my fears head on. Here's the brutally honest truth. Anxiety stems from fear and fear is often rooted in irrational, unhelpful thoughts that do nothing but hold us back. But what if I told you that you have the power to shut down those anxious thoughts and take control of your life? Enter the free question test, a simple yet powerful technique that can help you identify and challenge the validity of your anxious thoughts. Whenever you find yourself spiraling into a whirlwind of worry, ask yourself these three questions. 1. Is this thought 100% true and factual? 2. Is it helping me or holding me back? 3. Is it being kind to myself and others? Chances are, if you apply this to your anxious thoughts, you'll realize that a lot of them are just plain nonsense. That voice telling you, you're gonna bomb this presentation and get fired, is not true, unless you have a crystal ball, in which case, can I borrow it? Is not helpful and definitely not kind to your fabulous self. But wait, there's more. Another game-changing technique is the then what rule. Take your fear and break it down into the smallest, most ridiculous outcome possible. Let's go back to that presentation anxiety. I'm gonna mess up the presentation. Then what? I'll look like an idiot in front of everyone. Then what? People will think I'm incompetent and I'll get fired. Then what? I'll be homeless and living on the streets. See how silly that escalation is. Once you break it down, you realize that even in a worst case scenario of messing up a presentation, it's highly unlikely to result in getting fired or becoming homeless. Our fears are often completely overblown when we take a step back and look at them logically. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's all well and good, but how do I actually apply these techniques to my daily life? Fair question, my friend. Here's how I like to approach it. 
Whenever I feel that familiar, anxious feeling creeping in, I take a deep breath and ask myself the three questions. If the thought doesn't pass the test, I immediately challenge it with the then what rule. It might sound something like this. I'm going to be late for this important meeting and my boss is going to be so disappointed in me. Is this thought true? Well, I'm not actually late yet, so not entirely true. Is it helpful? Nope. It's just making me more anxious and stressed. Is it kind? Definitely not. I'm being way too hard on myself. Okay, let's break it down further. I'll be late for the meeting. Then what? My boss will be upset. Then what? She'll think I'm irresponsible and unprofessional. Then what? I'll get fired and end up living in a cardboard box under a bridge. See what I did there? By breaking it down, I realized that being a few minutes late for a meeting is highly unlikely to result in me losing my job and becoming homeless. It's just my anxiety trying to blow things out of proportion. The key is to catch those anxious thoughts early and challenge them before they spiral out of control. It takes practice, but trust me, once you get the hang of it, you'll feel a weight lifted off your shoulders. And you know what's even better? By learning to manage your anxiety and face your fears, you'll be unlocking a whole new world of opportunities and success. That presentation you were dreading, you'll nail it with confidence. That big project you've been putting off, you'll tackle it head on without the weight of anxiety holding you back. So my friend, it's time to take control of your anxiety and become the boss of your fears. Embrace the free question test, master the then what rule, and watch as your anxiety melts away, leaving you free to chase your dreams and achieve all the success you deserve. Remember, you've got this. And if you ever find yourself doubting, just think back to that shy, anxious kid from high school who refused to let fear hold them back. If I can do it, so can you. Chapter two, practical techniques for managing anxiety. All right, let's dive into some practical anxiety busting techniques that will have you feeling like a total boss in no time. We've all been there, that heart pounding, palm sweating, mind racing moment when anxiety decides to crash the party uninvited. It's like having a tiny annoying gremlin whispering worst case scenarios in your ear, convincing you that everything is going to fall apart. But fear not, my friends, we're about to equip you with some serious anxiety slaying tools that will have that pesky gremlin running for the hills. First up, let's talk about the power of deep breathing. I know, I know, it sounds like a cliche, but trust me, this simple technique is a game changer. When anxiety strikes, our bodies go into fight or flight mode causing our breathing to become shallow and rapid, but by consciously taking deep controlled breaths, we can trick our bodies into thinking everything is okay. Here's how it works. Inhale deeply through your nose, filling your belly with air. Hold it for a second, then take a short inhale through your nose. Finally, exhale slowly through your mouth, pushing all the air out of your belly. Repeat this process a few times and you'll feel that anxiety start to melt away like an ice cream cone on a hot summer day. But what if the anxiety is still lingering, like an unwanted party guest who just won't take the hint? That's where the 5 second rule comes into play. No, we're not talking about eating food off the floor, although let's be real, we've all done it. This rule is all about breaking the cycle of anxious thoughts before they spiral out of control. Here's how it works. When you start to feel that familiar anxious feeling creeping in, count down from five to one in your head. As soon as you hit one, immediately take action or change your focus. It could be as simple as standing up and walking around, calling a friend, or even just shifting your attention to a different task. The key here is to interrupt that negative thought loop before it has a chance to gain momentum. By taking action, you're essentially telling your brain, nope, we're not going down that rabbit hole today, buddy. But what if the anxiety is still lingering, like a persistent house guest who just won't take the hint? That's where the power of unloading comes into play. Sometimes, we just need to get those anxious thoughts out of our heads and into the open. Whether it's venting to a friend, preferably one who's a good listener and not just waiting for their turn to talk, recording a voice memo to yourself, or good old-fashioned journaling, the act of unloading can be incredibly therapeutic. Imagine your brain as a cluttered closet. The more you stuff in there, the messier and more overwhelming it becomes. But by taking the time to unload and organize those thoughts, you're creating space for clarity and calm to move in. Now, I know what you're thinking. 
But what if I'm in a situation where I can't exactly whip out my journal or start venting to a friend? Fair point, my friend. That's where the power of visualization comes into play. Whenever you feel that anxiety creeping in, take a few deep breaths and visualize yourself in a calm, peaceful setting. It could be a beautiful beach, a serene forest, or even just your happy place, wherever makes you feel relaxed and at ease. Engage all your senses. Imagine the sights, sounds, smells, and even the feeling of the warm sun on your skin or the cool breeze on your face. By transporting your mind to a calming environment, even if just for a few moments, you're giving yourself a much needed break from the anxiety inducing situation. It's like hitting the pause button on your worries and allowing yourself to recharge and refocus. And here's the best part. The more you practice these techniques, the easier it becomes to manage your anxiety and prevent it from spiraling out of control. Remember, anxiety is like a bully. It thrives on fear and inaction. But by taking action, whether it's through deep breathing, the five second rule, unloading or visualization, you're essentially telling that bully, not today, pal, I'm in charge here. So go forth and slay those anxiety dragons, my friends. With these proven techniques in your arsenal, you'll be well on your way to achieving all your goals and living your best, most successful life. Chapter three, visualization, journaling, and detaching from approval. All right, my friends, we've arrived at the final chapter of our anxiety busting success unlocking journey. But before we dive in, let's set the scene with a little relatable scenario, shall we? Imagine this, you're lying awake at night, your mind racing with a million thoughts and worries. You toss and turn, desperately trying to silence that inner critic whispering, you're not good enough. You'll never achieve your dreams. Sound familiar? We've all been there, my friend. That nagging self-doubt, that overwhelming fear of failure or judgment can feel like a heavy weight holding us back from reaching our full potential. But what if I told you that you have the power to silence that inner critic and take control of your life? Enter the dynamic duo of journaling and visualization, two powerful tools that can help you conquer anxiety and unlock your path to success. Let's start with journaling. I know, I know, it might sound like a cheesy teenage girl thing to do, but trust me, this simple act of putting pen to paper can be life-changing. Just like we talked about in the last chapter, think of your brain as a cluttered closet. The more thoughts and worries you stuff in there, the messier and more overwhelming it becomes. But by taking the time to unload those thoughts onto paper, you're creating space for clarity and calm to move in. Not sure where to start? No problem. Try using prompts like today I feel anxious about or my biggest fear is to get those thoughts flowing or if you're feeling particularly witty or snarky, you can even write a sassy letter to your anxiety, telling it exactly where it can shove its negative thoughts. But journaling isn't just about venting. It's also a powerful tool for setting goals and visualizing your success. As the great Muhammad Ali once said, to be a great champion, you must believe that you are the best. And what better way to cultivate that belief than by putting it down on paper? Imagine your dream life, your biggest goals and aspirations, and write them down in vivid detail. Visualize yourself achieving those dreams, feeling the joy and pride of success. The more you put that energy out into the universe, the more likely it is to manifest in your reality. Need some real life inspiration? Let me share a personal story. Back in my college days, that makes it sound like it was ages ago, but this was last year. I was that anxious, self-doubting kid who never thought I'd amount to much. But then I discovered the power of visualization. I started journaling about my dreams of starting a successful YouTube channel and getting into my dream university, despite my anxiety telling me it was impossible. And you know what? Those dreams became reality. By putting my goals down on paper and visualizing myself achieving them, I was able to silence that inner critic and take action towards making them happen. But here's the kicker, true success and happiness can only come when you stop caring so much about what others think and start living authentically. I know, it's easier said than done. We're all guilty of seeking validation and approval from others, whether it's friends, family, or even strangers on the internet. But the truth is, when you live your life based on other people's expectations, you'll never truly be happy or fulfilled. 
So my friends, it's time to let go of that need for approval and start living for yourself. Embrace your quirks, your passions, your unique brand of weirdness, because that's what makes you, you. And who knows, by being unapologetically yourself, you might just inspire others to do the same. And there you have it, the final chapter in our anxiety-busting, success-unlocking journey. But this isn't the end, my friends. It's just the beginning. Because now, it's your turn to share your own tips, tricks, and personal experiences with overcoming anxiety and achieving your dreams. Drop them in the comments below and let's keep this conversation going. Who knows, your story might just be the inspiration someone else needs to take that first step towards a life free from anxiety and full of success. So, go forth and conquer, my friends. With these proven techniques in your arsenal and a little bit of humor and authenticity sprinkled in, you've got everything you need to slay those anxiety dragons and unlock your path to greatness. Remember, you've got this. And if you ever find yourself doubting, just think back to that anxious kid from college who refused to let fear hold them back. If I can do it, so can you. Now let's go out there and show the world what we're made of.